Hey everyone, it's Lisa, and today is Wednesday, of course, <laughs> and I have been so busy doing stuff around the house. It's been so much fun. I came home this morning. I had to take Bridget to get her toenails cut, which you know how she is. She screamed the whole time, but they let me actually stand there and wait, and because um, she gets so traumatized when I take her to the vet or anywhere, the groomers, and um so I came home and I thought, well, I'm going to lay down just a little bit because I got to bed late last night. Then I got up early and I like to feel good, like in the afternoons. And I could not even sleep. I'm just so, I mean, it's like I'm buzzing from the inside out. We had yesterday the guy that painted this room. Luckily, I still had his number on my phone. And um, we're getting just almost the rest of the house painted. The kitchen, um, my master bedroom, both bathrooms and excuse me some of the ceilings needed repainting after hurricanes it's real common for water to leak through and um so and i got my new appliances all that kind of stuff so um that's why i'm up here i don't want you to see the downstairs to at least on friday I, I still won't be finished but i might have some more stuff so i wanted to kind of get it straight and i hope that i can't really see that far for the camera so i hope you can see everything good um I thought today I would do my empties. I was cleaning my bathroom. We got a new little stand to put like all my hair supplies and um, lotion and stuff like that in. So I cleaned off my garden tub. I actually took a bath for the first time in a long time in the bathtub. I mean, I take showers, but <laughs> it took a good bath. And um, I was cleaning out and I have all my empties here and I'd like to go ahead and show them to you and then be able to get rid of them. So they're just, they're not eventful. I, I really thought about just throwing them away, but then I thought, no, some people say they like my empties, so I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Okay, Mac brush cleaner, just finished this up yesterday and this will go for my back to Mac and has one of my hairs on it. And um, I use this every day, pour a little bit on a paper towel and clean my brushes as I go. Okay, um, toothpaste. I know I show you this every time, but just in case there's one person out there watching this for the first time, I want you to try this toothpaste. It is the best. And it's really good for um, those of you that have Invisalign like me. I brush my Invisalign with that too. And a couple of times I've used like another toothpaste that the dentist will give me. They'll give me those little trial. It'll be like... Um, I think it's crest sensitive or something. And because the consistency isn't as creamy and smooth as that, it doesn't spread and, you know, brush the Invisalign as much or as well. It doesn't get in there. And um, so I would try that. And then I use the little drops for, I think it's called Retainer Bright that I get from Amazon. I soak my Invisalign every night because you want to keep them real clean. Okay, this is the Equate Premium Exfoliating Cotton Rounds. Um, I like these for my toner. Oh, I did leave one in here. And also, um, I like, I get these for Brooke to use in taking off her nail polish because they do have that little bit of roughness on one side. So um, it takes off the nail polish a little bit better. Go ahead and throw that away. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and just get through this. This is my Monate empties. And you can see dust like flying. It's because this stuff was sitting in my bathroom for a while. And I have the dustiest house. I don't know what it is. It gets dusted once a week, at least. I even have one of those little Swiffer things, but for some reason, it must, must be just like the cats and stuff. But um, a Monate Black, that's what John uses. He freaks when he starts to run out of this. I have to go ahead and put a new one in there so he'll quit asking me and telling me that he's gonna run out. Um, I'll just set these over here. Um, this is the Intense Repair Treatment Conditioner. I went through a um, bottle of this, but I like this okay, but my favorite is the, I went right back to what I started with, is the Revitalize Conditioner. And if I feel like I need something heavier, then I'll go with the Deep Smoothing, but right now I love the Revitalize. That's my favorite. And then I'll just use something else I'm gonna show you on the ends if I want to. Okay, this is an empty IRT spray. John also uses this on his scalp. Um, this is like the pure 
Capixel. So this is the DHT blocker, and this is what helps. He has so much new fuzz up here. He loves it. And um, so this is what keeps the DHT away from your hair follicles and helps the hair be able to grow, grow through. And um, this is my favorite shampoo, and it is the Renew. It's just what I started off with. It's so funny. The first things I started with and had such good results, I've gone through every product in the line. I've come back to these. The Renew Shampoo and the Revitalized Conditioner and the Rejuvenique Oil. Those are my basic must-haves. Okay, and then the last thing is, yes, the Smoothing Deep Conditioner. I like this. I think I like the Revitalize a little bit more, but this was much better in the heat of summer when I was fighting the humidity so bad. Right now, it's getting a little bit better, and um, so, but I did like this. So what I always recommend is start with the Hydrate line and then order, the. in addition to that, the Hydrate, I mean the Rejuvenique oil and either the Revitalize or the Deep Smoothing, depending on which conditioner you think I need or do you, th you think you need. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go ahead and tell you about this. Another hair product, Lonza Trauma Treatment. This has been just a lifesaver for me for so many years. Throughout all the times I have gotten my hair just fried, I mean frizzled, just beyond belief so many times. I One time I had to have a shampoo cap, if you know what that means, and my hair was just fried. That was years and years ago. And then the time I had the Bumble and Bumble Concentrate, Every time, this brings my hair back. And I was in the hair salon, and one of the girls in there that works with Morgan, Christina, is really, really, um, she has gone to all the Lonza classes. And I believe Lonza is one of those brands that really, really keeps their um, hair stylist up to date. They're really into that continuing education. And she, we were talking about how wonderful the trauma treatment is. And she said, have you ever tried it on your wet hair? And I said, no. And she said, yes. Yeah. She said, I learned that at the last class. She said, when your hair is wet or it, when you're in the shower, and this is how I do it, when I'm all done and I'm in the shower, and you know how, like, I have the shower that comes straight down, so I can kind of step out of my shower. And my hair, it's not dry, but it's not soaking wet. What I'll do is take a good size, probably about a quarter size of the trauma treatment, and get it in my hands, and I'll just run it through my hair like this, and then don't rinse it out, but squeeze it out, just like you would ordinarily to squeeze out that excess water. And then just get out of the shower and put your hair in the towel. And to me, that's step one, because Morgan taught me that step one is what you put in your hair for the health of your hair and protection. And then step two will be your styling product. And um, so I always count this as my step one, and I do it in the shower, and it will make your hair so soft. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the way it emulsifies with the hot water in your hair, or if it just spreads better, or what it does, but it works five times better when you do it that way. So try this. Any way you use this, it's good stuff. It is a wonderful product. Okay, um, let's see. This has been my favorite hairspray of late. It's the KMS Hair Stay working hairspray. I just sprayed it all over and as you can see it's not, it's one of those that just keeps your, I spray it on my hair at night after I curl it and then I go to bed and then I'll put a few sprays the next day and it basically just keeps it in in this, like each strand in the style you have it but it doesn't stick the strands together if that makes any sense. So I love this and I'm using the big one now. Okay, this is a Kerastase product that I I finished and it is the VIP volume in powder and it is um, it's one of those things like not a dry shampoo not a hairspray but kind of in between and you can I think it's hmm, there's a little bit left in there you can put it in your hair and it kind of just there's not really anything left in there it kind of just helps it um, boof up a little bit and um, Love it. It's really good. It's right there. There's several products I like with this, and I think 
if I at this and the Living Proof, um, I can't, is it Powder Bluff or Volume in Powder or something? The Living Proof one, I'll put it down below. Both of those are my favorites. And the Living Proof may be easier to get, but I, I love Kerastase. So that is a styling product that I've gone through. Um, let's see, getting into some skincare. I finished a whole bottle of my Obagi Professional C Vitamin C Serum, and this is the 20%, and I used every last drop, and I'm actually out. I need to stop and get some more. So um, I've kind of missed that in the morning, too. And, okay, um, you guys know that I had bought a whole other uh, new set of the Abaji. So um, this was just a gentle cleanser. I really used the foaming cleanser, but they had given me this, and so I used it. It's The gentle cleanser is more of a creamy consistency, and it is for delicate skin. Rinse is clean while soothing delicate skin. It's more for dry, delicate, sensitive skin, and I have more combo skin. So um, I replaced it with the foaming gel from the New Derm system, and I just finished a whole bottle of the Exphoderm Forte, which this is just prescription strength. You have to get it from your med spa, and um, this has the Gosh, it has all kinds of acids in it. Let's see, it has um, glycolic acid and lactic acid. And um, has all kinds of stuff, but it's pretty strong. And this, you know, in conjunction with the whole system, with the Retin-A that I use and the Hydroquinone and this, I use this in the morning. It's, um, you see AM right here and it's step four. It's the last thing that I use in the morning. And so I just opened my new one. And someone asked me, did I, something about, something along the lines, did I finish mine all at the same time? And I don't. You'll fi you'll always finish the cleanser and the toner first, and then usually comes the clear, because you use the clear morning and night. And so what I did is when I bought my new one, I just kind of put it in my closet on the shelf, and I just bring them out when I'm ready for them. Okay, um, I finished up one of these. It's that lip conditioner that I love so much and I even dug in there and got what was left in there and I still love this but it's expensive and um, but it's really good but I've really been liking that Lano Lips lately the strawberry one that really has been doing well and it really stays on my lips throughout the night and then I like the La Mer too those are the two I'm using right now but I do like this one okay and um, this was another thing that I really liked. One of my subscribers, Polished Whimsy, I believe is her blog name. I'll put it down below. But she sent this to me and I have missed it. I need to order it again. Which, matter of fact, I did a friends and family Sephora haul that I should get tomorrow. So I'll do that for you soon too because um, I was just thinking I should have ordered this when I had that 20% off. But this is the Fresh Sugar Scrub, and you twirl it up, and it has that um, little, kind of like a little scrubber type rubbery piece on the end. And so you kind of get to exfoliate your lips and put this conditioning lip stuff all on the same time, and I love it. And it smells good. It's, it's wonderful. I miss it. I'm definitely going to get this again. And um, this. What a, what a disappointment. And I say this with not any, I'm not trying to bash them because I have one of these coming in my next order from Sephora, but I'm so disappointed when I go to use some of my Tom Ford lipsticks that they're, oh my gosh, I mean, they're so, they've gone so bad, you can't even, you can't use it. Because sometimes I, I, one time I said, I'm just going to use it. It won't hurt me. And I couldn't do it because I felt like I could taste it and I could just smell it. And this is my Nude Vanilla. And I don't know how long I've had this. And I know it's probably been over a year. I know it has. But none of my other lipsticks do that. So I don't know what it's, what it is about these. My Spanish Pink did the same thing. So um, my advice would be, not that they're not worth it, not that I don't think you should get one, but just get kind of one or two at the time, and keep in mind you need to go ahead and use them. That's what I'm going to do with my next one, but I want to order that again because Nude Vanilla is one of my favorite ones in the winter with a smoky eye. I really like that one. <laughs> my, I've, I've been on Diet 7-Up lately, so those cans you hear are Diet 7-Up. 
<laughs> okay, and then my last thing is the best tanner I've ever used, especially for a gradual tanner. And it is the Bond, is it Bondi Sands, um, the Australian Tan. And this is the gradual one. This is the one that Denise sent me. And I love it. Now, I have not been using it for the past, I would say, month. Because now that it's not, you know, summertime, I went ahead and just, you know, quit using it. Because I wanted to just enjoy not having to worry about it. And um, I just felt like my regular color might look better now. <laughs> and um, I was really trying to exfoliate off, too, the rest of my tan my real tan and this. And so when I kind of felt like I had gotten it off, I said, well, I don't want to have to do that again. So I'll probably pick back up on that in the spring. And that is it. So I'm going to put all this away. And then I got something yesterday. I went in Oliver to pick up something else that I'm going to show you on Friday. And I saw these and I was like, love at first sight and so i wanted to go ahead and show them to you before she sells all of them she only gets a certain amount and i'm gonna i think i'm gonna wear them today um i don't know i don't know i've got a lot of running around to do but i, I want to wear them today if not i'm gonna wear them out to eat tonight so um here i'll go ahead and show them to you i'll just work around this but it's this brand the um is it loffler randall brand and so they're not really inexpensive, but they're not as expensive as like Jimmy Choo or something. But I want you to look at this shoe. It is gorgeous. And you know how like this style is really popular now? And I, when I saw them, I just fell in love. They look beautiful on your feet. And this is like my color. I love this color that is the blushy color with just a, you know, just like a splash of a terracotta color in it. I just thought they were gorgeous. And the heel, I believe, thing. oh, here it is, here it is. My Volkswagen <laughs> from when I had a Passat and they gave it to me. Let's see, the heel is, I mean, from the top, tip top to the end, it's four inches. So it's a decent heel, no wonder I love them. And, Another thing I wanted to say is, if I'm not mistaken, um, the Loeffler Randall, Loeffler Randall shoes run a little bit small. It seems like in their boots when I have tried them on and any other shoe that I have gotten in that brand, I have gotten an eight and a half. And let's see if they're in European sizes. I'm not sure. Okay. Um, yeah, no, they're in regular sizes. Dusty Rose is the color. And um, so I got her to get an eight and a half for me to try on and I was wearing a dress and my heel was right at the very end. And my left foot is a little bit bigger than my right foot. And so I asked her to try a nine and I got the nine because with a, a, you know, a mule like this, I usually like to size up a half a size. So the nine fits me perfectly and I am typically an eight. So I hope that helps you out some. Um, if you don't want to error on that side, then I could have worn the eight and a half. No one would have said anything to me, but it just would have bothered me the whole time thinking that my heel might be hanging off the slightest bit. I'm talking about not even really hanging off, but just to the end. So just wanted to kind of tell you that. And um, so I didn't ask her. I'm sure that the, my code that I normally have discount for you guys. I'm sure that will work, but I'll put the details down below. And um, I can't even see how the lighting is. I hate how the lighting kind of catches right there, but that's just how it is up here. <laughs> I'm just going to have to deal with it. But um, today I have on my new Dean ring that you guys saw not too long ago. And I have a Dean Davidson giveaway coming up with a, his let another it's not a new collection but i think it is another collection that he has going on um, i did have my nails done yesterday and i love this color so much it's that one that i actually ordered from amazon called she's i think it's called she's my beauty and i just love this color and um i actually have on dean's earrings that he sent me too his hoops that he sent me and um I think that's it. When I did my makeup today, I did not even plan on doing a video, but it's, 
you know, it's some of my favorites that I've been wearing. So I hope you guys have a great day and I'll back up some and I will see you on Friday. See you then. Bye-bye.